Hey everyone, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and congratulations. It's day 15, you guys. We've made it halfway, which is so awesome. And even if you've had some hiccups along the way, it's day 15. This would be a great chance to recommit, settle in, drop in. And we're going to have some fun today with Half Moon because we're halfway through the 30 days. See what I did there? So hop on the mat and let's get started. comfy seat. I'm sitting up on a block to start here just so I can check in with my breath here as we ease into our practice today. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Inhale and again permission to be here now. And exhale we begin to settle in. Check in with the hips here side to side. The neck and shoulders. Moving into cat-cow variations that feel awesome. Connecting the rib cage and checking with the head and neck and finding a little movement that again feels awesome, that feels good. Neat and forward fold and same thing here, finding a little organic movement. Lingering in any place that might need a little extra love today. the feet and work it out here neck and shoulders relax and open keep tapping into your breath in the heart this extension through the crown of the head as we flow here we go soft knees inhale reach it up full body stretch exhale release keep the heart open. into your heart deep breath in long breath out diving forward enjoy this move more pull the elbows back not left to right back 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 and then we press up and then we lower all the way down to the belly inhale lift up Bhujangasana beautiful Cobra and exhale release pressing up to plank and then sending it to your downward facing dog bend your right knee and open up through the right side body stacking the hips breathe here then bend your right knee or keep your right knee bent, excuse me, and hug it all the way up in towards your heart, nose to knee. Then step it up into your lungs. Consider our energetic body, so not just the shape, but really finding places to ground and sink and places to lift. And it's side angle prep. I'm not going to collapse here, but really keep that away. Inhale in and exhale, softening into our extended side angle. Maybe I release down to the earth. And we take one more breath here. And then exhale, dial the gaze and the heart back down. I pivot on the back foot and I inhale, strong legs, strong core. Exhale, release. <sighs> Choose your own adventure, your vinyasa here. Moving with the breath. And we meet in downward facing dog. When you get there, take a deep breath in. Full body it. experience. And exhale, hands to the heart. <sighs> take a second to just close your eyes and observe your breath. Exhale, down you go. You can really square those hips, right toes pointing straight down towards the earth. And I'm pressing my right foot into an imaginary wall here, so lots of energy. Deep breath in, then we'll squeeze that right knee up towards the heart for one breath. Nice to maintain that space in the shoulder girdle and in the neck. Take a deep breath in here in your triangle, Chikonasana. And with that support or without, I'm going to really remember that space in the neck and the shoulder girdle, this connection to my core as I start to lift my back leg up high. So this is what your half moon pose might look like right now. That's okay. Hips back and reach forward and down, coming into our triangle. Sorry. Uh, you might take your block to the side, and we're going to just practice half moon on the other side. So look at the video for as long as you want, and then really kind of take responsibility for your own happiness here and have a little fun. I find a nice position for my block or my book, or again, a chair or fingertips on the earth. 
On an exhale, press into your right foot like it's in, pressing into an imaginary wall here. And I begin to open up through my heart, my rib cage. Opening up all the way. If you're feeling brave. Reach into your chest slightly to lengthen through the back. Every time I say to Cobra, I think of this restaurant here in Austin called Tacoba. <laughs> I'm gonna get hungry. Okay, here we are in extended child's pose. Rest your forehead, notice your breath. Awesome, then we'll send the left leg out long. Arms come gently at your side. You can use a blanket to pillow the head or cover the body up. Even if you don't have a lot of time left for your practice today, give yourself a good, you know, minute or two to just find some exquisite stillness to let the nutrients of your practice settle in. And to let go. Great work today, my friends. Take good care. Namaste. Welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian. Hi, so today we're going to start at the front edge of the mat. Feet hip width apart, nice and comfy. Toes Exhale, pointing. Draw your shoulder blades in together and down your back. Tuck your pelvis, dial your pinkies forward so that your shoulders can really drop into socket here and we can create a little bit of space. Load it down. After your third breath, send it up and back, downward facing. Curl the toes under or come from all fours. Together we'll meet, downward facing dog. This time dropping the right heel, we inhale, lift the left leg high. Release, right palm we'll comes over that back knee. Find a full breath in here, you got it. And then exhale, we release. Up and over to kiss the right elbow, deep breath in. Then send it up, three-legged dog. Then all the way through to kiss the left elbow, look forward, and then send it up three-legged dog. And then last time through the center, carving a sweet line all the way up as we squeeze the right knee up towards the heart. Breathing deep. Then exhale, palms exhale, to lift the left leg up high. Bend the left knee, bring it up and over to kiss the left elbow. Strong core here as you look forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, left knee to right elbow. And three-legged dog. And finally, through center, carving that line all the way up and through. We squeeze the left heart. Just notice how you feel. Close your eyes for a second. <sighs> notice any frustrations, any resistance, or any openness, any joy, any breakthroughs. Just notice it all. Walk the two big toes together. Bring your right palm to the center line. And we're going to turn on to the right and take it to the other side. Right fingertips reach up towards the sky. Make sure you know what's going on in your neck and shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Awesome, my friends. And then exhale with control, with grace. Release down. Bring the knees together and send the set bones back. We take a rest here in child's pose. Reach your fingertips all the way towards the back. Working on pranayama, that ocean sound. Or you can begin to unravel and make your way to Shavasana. Great work today, my friend. Lots of love. Namaste. Hey guys, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and I'm super excited. It's day 17. I can't believe it. We're doing so good. All right, let's get on the mat and get started. Keep the soles of the feet on the earth, knees up towards the sky. Come into a nice comfy position, and we're going to move into a little uh, bridge pose uh, flow to warm up our bodies and drop into our breath. 